wasn't reality. During this time, I read as much as I could about head injury and talked to people in Headway who'd been through it. It devastates families. The physical problems are easy to deal with, but it is the psychological problems that are hardest. He was a vibrant, energetic, physical man. Now he's just a shell of his former self. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Her Royal Highness, the Princess of Wales, would like to make a short statement. Your Royal Highness. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure to be here with you, sharing in your successes of the past year. Headway has grown into an organisation which is improving the quality of so many lives. I'm so proud of the work you've achieved. In the past 12 years, I can honestly say that one of my greatest pleasures has been my association with people like yourself. During those years, I've met many thousands of wonderful and extraordinary people, both here and around the world. The cared for and the carers. To the wider public, may I say that I've made many special friends. I've been allowed to share your thoughts and dreams, your disappointments and your happiness. You have also given me an education by teaching me more about life and living than any books or teachers could have done. My debt of gratitude to you all is immense. I hope in some small way I have been of service in return. A year ago, I spoke of my desire to continue with my work unchanged. For the past year, I have continued as before. However, life and circumstances alter, and I hope you will forgive me if I use this opportunity to share with you my plans for the future, which now indeed have changed. When I started my public life 12 years ago, I understood the media might be interested in what I did. I realised then their attention would inevitably focus on both our private and public lives. But I was not aware of how overwhelming that attention would become, nor the extent to which it would affect both my public duties and my personal life in a manner that's been hard to bear. At the end of this year, when I've completed my diary of official engagements, I will be reducing the extent of the public life I've led so far. Obviously, I attach great importance to my charity work and I intend to focus on a smaller range of areas in the future. Over the next few months, I will be seeking a more suitable way of combining a meaningful public role with hopefully a more private life. My first priority will continue to be our children, William and Harry, who deserve as much love and care and attention as I am able to give, as well as a, an appreciation of the tradition into which they were born. I would like to add that this decision has been reached with a full understanding of the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh, who have always shown me 
kindness and support. I hope you can find it in your hearts to understand and to give me the time and space that has been lacking in recent years. I couldn't stand here today and make this sort of statement without acknowledging the heartfelt support I've been given the public, I've been given by the public in general. Your kindness and affection has carried me through some of the most difficult periods. And always, your love and care has eased that journey. And for that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Your Royal Highness, I know I speak for all of us when I say we sympathise with the decision you have taken. Whatever course your life now takes, be assured there are many charities and individuals all over the world who will remain grateful for the dedicated service and care you have brought to everything you do. On behalf of those people who cannot be with us today, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Her Royal Highness, the Princess of Wales. Thank you.